are not done with the 90s because take a look at this right here guys we got the new set of players and you already know what to do like the video for that extra good luck and let me know down below in the comments who's the best card that you have right now in my team very curious to know because obviously we have the 90s edition as the greatest era and so this means that 2k is going to be releasing the 2000s edition 2010s and so on maybe the 80s eventually as well now when it comes to this with 2k doing content this year they have been releasing free deluxe packs as well now obviously with Chris money you know being the main player as a ping diamond he's going to be the card that every single person wants and he's always amazing especially this early on he's gonna be one of the best shooting guards in the game if not the best shooting guard in the game and then of course we got diamonds but like i said with the way that 2k has been doing content we should be getting some free packs because you know they ended up doing the whole you know power search then they did the three-point royalty and 2k you know guess what they ended up giving us some free packs and so we should be seeing you know some challenges so 2k should be releasing you know gold emerald sapphire ruby amethyst players and then we should be seeing some challenges i'm assuming we'll probably have you know the 90s with chris money we'll have it with uh, diamond grand hill and then probably another one of the diamonds and then of course you know we'll be able to get guaranteed free 90s players with an opportunity at of course any of the cards that 2k is showing right here even though again they have been dropping you know like 20 30 40 50 cards at times you know with certain sets and so with tuesday you know we did have actually we can take a look how many players did we have on the uh, you know on that drop because the most recent drop was you know 45 and so season one, so 13 for full throttle, 20 for royalty, and then 45 for power surge. So I'm assuming probably about, you know, 20 to 40 cards. And so that should include, you know, some ambies and stuff like that. Now, I do want to take a look at the cards because as you know, 2K does have this. And actually, I just thought of something. I, wait, wait, hold on. With three-point royalty, they had Corver, and then they dropped Steph Curry. So maybe we could be seeing, uh, uh, you know... We, we, we might see Michael Jordan this Friday if 2K were to do exactly what they did, you know, last week, which I'm assuming they will because, you know, 2K is very predictable at times, so I could definitely see 2K doing that. So Michael Jordan could come out because obviously it is the 90s sets. I mean, with these cards, you know, you know, it would make sense to have, you know, Michael Jordan, but, you know, they're not going to drop the goats on a Tuesday. They're going to drop them on a Friday. So he could be the next player, but I do want to take a look if the, any of these diamonds are going to be looking good. And then, of course, we got to see how good Chris, Chris Money is. Mr. Chris Mullen. Oh, my goodness. 6-7, by the way. That's how tall he is. So let's take a look at the uh, diamonds really quickly because I already found them all. And so let's take a good look at Derek Coleman because he's going to be one of the diamonds. Power forward center. 6-10. Definitely like that size. 92 3. Oh my god. Yo, yo. I didn't think they were going to crack him out like that. Derek Coleman. Excuse me, sir. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 85 driving dunk, 92 three-pointer, he gonna be a god, 89 interior defense, 84 perimeter defense, 84 speed, 94 rebounding, excuse me, sir, que paso, what, oh, and then he's gonna have post lockdown, box out, beast, brick, wall, paint, prodigy, post powerhouse, and set shot specialist, wait, hold on, did I limit, oh my, oh my, okay, <laughs> well, I want Derek Coleman, okay, I mean, what, I didn't, what? Six, he, man, if I get him, he gonna be my new power forward. What you mean? They really go limitless. What? Brick wall. Hall of Fame. Huh? Interceptor, rebound, chain. Oh, no, he, no, yeah, he might. <laughs> well, that's like the best diamond already. But also, we gotta take a look at Grand Hill, because Grand Hill usually is always a rim running machine, especially this early on. He always comes out around this time as well. So, Grand Hill 6, 8, shooting guard. Ooh, taller than Chris Mullen. Because Chris, 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 you know, 6, 7. So, you know, you know, there's that. 84, 3 ball. Oh, wow. I thought his driving dunk was going to be like 88, maybe even 90. But it's only 85, which is still good, you know, for this point in the year. But I thought that'd be higher, honestly. 85 per more defense. 89 speed. So, they definitely are not, you know, juicing at Grand Hill. Because, obviously, these are the stats in the badges. And speaking of the badges, let's see. He's still going to be a great, you know, card, obviously. So, he's got posterizer, off-ball pass, physical finisher, strong handle. And so, that's going to be four Hall of Fame badges. And then, of course, does he have Limitless? Because they gave it to my boy over here. No, he does not have Limitless. Okay, I'm hoping you can at least add it. Let's see. Dead Eye Limitless. Yeah, you're definitely going to be able to badge him out. Okay, so he'll definitely be a really good shooting guard. Especially at this point, but again, I do feel like, you know, 
Yeah, nah, you, know, you know, you know what I'm saying? We might we might see the GOAT on Friday as well. So Grand Hill 6-8, I think he'll be good. He'll be all right. Now we do have, of course, another player in uh, Ronnie. He was in page nine. So let's see what we're working with with Ronnie. So Ronnie being 6-11, so an inch taller than, uh, you know, Coleman right here. So, you know, Coleman really good. Grand Hill, he's good. And then Ronnie, we're going to take a look. So 6-11, he can only play the center position. So he's going to be, let's see, 73 ball is actually really good. So he's going to be able to stretch the floor. 85 driving dunk. Okay. 74 perimeter defense. 88 interior with a 70 steal. And also 89 block. 92 rebounding. 83 speed. I think he'll be all right, you know, for a center. I kind of wish he was a seven footer. But obviously, you know, you can't do anything about your height. You know, by the way, if you're still watching, how tall are you? Curious to know? Let me know. You know, I'm 5'10 over here. And then five Hall of Fame badges. Brick wall. Paint Prodigy, Post Powerhouse, Post of Poets, and then, of course, you know, Paint Patroller. Does he have anything like Interceptor? Okay, I like that Rebound Chaser. I like it. Physical Finisher, Dead Eye. You can add... Okay, so they're letting you add Shooting Badges to these cards, and so this is definitely going to be a good, you know, stretch big if you were to get them, of course, which hopefully they juice those free Deluxe Packs as well. So Roddy right here, I mean, listen, 611, only center. Kind of wish you could play the Power Forward, but it do be like that. Now, we do also have Latrell, which Latrell is always one of those players that also comes out during this time every year in my team. So, I'm really not surprised to see him. Oh, he can't... Wait, what? He can't play shooting guard? Wait. Okay, he can on this one. Okay, so let me confirm so far. Grand Hill, power forward, tenor, small forward, shooting guard. Okay, so they are going to be making him a small forward, shooting guard. So, sometimes Suke does update that. So, that's good because I was going to be like, what? Why can't he play shooting guard? So he is going to be able to play the two at 6'5". Yeah, that's mainly why I was wondering because a 6'5 small forward, even right now, not that good. But at a shooting guard position, really good. 84 three-pointer, of course. 85 driving dunk, of course. Defensively, though, yes, sir. 87 steel, 87 perimeter. And also 82 interior as a shooting guard. I like that right there because, you know, they'd be rim running with those shooting guards, especially if they got like a Grand Hill. 84 speed. Let's see the strength, 78, 93 stamina. How, how are the badges looking on my boy? Let's see, what do we got? Two Hall of Fame badges, really? Only two? They cheesy, my boy, man. Challenger, off-ball pass. I'm assuming, oh yeah, Paul Streiser on gold. Break starter, pig dodger glove, interceptor. Does he have limitless? Ooh, now obviously not every card needs limitless, but you know, you always want to be able to shoot, you know? And I'm always curious to see, especially after Derek Coleman, you know, they. I just, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. But then I limitless range, diamond unpluckable, post lockdown, box out beast, brick wall. You can upgrade all these badges, obviously. That's what it says, upgradable badges. So you can add that as well if you do have the badges. So you might want to be making some MT in the auction house, you know, for them badges. So let's show right here if you did want to take a look at him as well, page 10. And then also we have Kenny, uh, Mr. Kenny. Where's Kenny, 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 Kenny? Oh my God, they took out Kenny. Am I blind? Kenny's supposed to be here. I'm blind. I know you probably already are looking at him. There he is. Oh my goodness, my bad. Now he is going to be point guard only on this one, but on this one he's going to be point guard shooting guard. Okay, so he is going to be able to play the two, even though I doubt you would want to do that because he is 6'1", 168 pounds. Let's see, maybe... Ooh, okay, 94 mid-range, 84 three-pointer, no driving ability for him. Ball handling is 96, though. Okay, I like that. 90 steal, 89 perimeter defense. Okay, so defensively, he gonna be him, but 6-1, I don't think he's really gonna be him. You know what I mean? 94 speed. Yeah, he's gonna be the diamond that if you pull, you're gonna you're, you're gonna be upset. Let's keep it a bug, okay? No Hall of Fame badges. Not even a defensive Hall of Fame badge. He does have dead eye and glove. Interceptor, elm What? How does he have such great uh, defensive stats, but he doesn't have some of the more important defensive badges? That's kind of strange. Is that not strange? Am I am I am I the only one that feels like that's a little weird? No. Okay. Glove. Hold. I mean, you can add in you know, all these badges as well. I thought he would have like at least a couple Hall of Fame badges, but Kenny. Listen, Kenny. Is, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to be that guy. You know, I'm only five ten, but in my I'm not in my team. You know, but if you are in my team, you gotta be a little taller. So Kenny. Uh, L, Ronnie, he'll be like in the middle. Latrell, you know, he'll be all right. Grand Hill, always a rim running machine. Derek Coleman is going to be the one card, though. He's going to be expensive in the auction house. And then, of course, Chris Money. We got to take a look at Chris Money because he's the main guy. Now, again, with them doing this, like they did the three point, you know, specialist, and then they did, you know, power search with Curry, you know, Carver, stuff like that. 
I definitely do feel like we're going to be seeing a Michael Jordan, like I said, but at the moment they're dropping Chris Money. I could be wrong, they might not drop Michael Jordan, but I feel like they might be teasing at it, right? And so Chris Money is on page three, and there he is, the man, the myth, the legend from the 90s. You guys remember that Dark Matter he had? What was it, 2K21? Really good. That's really when he started gaining, you know, that popularity, even though he's always been good, obviously. 6'7". From uh, St. John's, New York, Yardy. No, let's see the stats. 98 three ball. Oh, 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 oh my. What? Okay, I expected that, but dang, he gonna be. Oh my. Man, even if they drop MJ, Chris Mully, you know, Chris Money might be. He might be better. 75 driving dunk, though. That's gonna set him back a little bit. But you know, with a. Uh, with a coach boost, maybe you can get that a little higher. Maybe with a certain takeover, that might be cheesy. You know what I mean? 92 perimeter shot, though. No, freak. 92 perimeter defense. <laughs> what? I don't remember Chris Money having that kind of D. Yo, pause. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. But I don't remember him having that kind of D this early on. 85 steal. 90 speed? Oh, no. I, I need this card. What? Oh, I, I'm scared to see the Hall of Fame badges. Are they all going to be shooting badges? Oh, 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 dead eye, limitless, slippery, off ball, challenger, off ball, best, interceptor, layup, mix, master, physical finisher, set shot specialist, shifty shooter, strong handle. Oh my. And he's got glove. He's got on ball menace. And yeah, I want Chris money. You guys got to let me know which player you want the most. And while we're waiting, definitely check out the breakout video. Check out the pack opening. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.